So today we're gonna to be talking about the new crossover event coming to the Division 2 with Resident Evil. You guys might have seen the video where we got a little bit early access to it because of Ubisoft France. Well, they actually showed this on the official reveal of the new Resident Evil game, Village. Now, this crossover event will, is an apparel event. But don't worry, there is gonna be a global event going on simultaneously that will give you that feel of the whole zombies coming back to life. And we'll explain all that in just a second. Now this Resident Evil event is running from February 2nd to the 15th. And this is all because of the new game coming out soon for Resident Evil. Now if you head over to your seasons and then you head over to the right, you're gonna see an event called Apparel Event Codename Nightmare. Well, now we know what this Codename Nightmare Apparel Event is, it's this Resident Evil name here. And that's why they named it Codename Nightmare. Now this was supposed to be a bigger event, but it was canceled and it was changed just straight to an apparel event. Now I don't know what the event was going to be. All I know was supposed to take place at Kenley College. So I'm assuming maybe some zombies there. Now you will be able to collect iconic outfits, weapon skins, and more. Now I know there is a backpack trophy that looks amazing and if you haven't seen it, it was actually shown off in this artwork right here. I actually zoomed in so you guys could take a look at it. But yeah, this is it right here. And that's probably something I'm gonna be grinding for. Now some of you guys might be wondering how do you get this outfit right here? Well, most of you guys should be wondering because most of you guys are Rogue Police Department, right? So RPD, Rogue Police Department, you guys might as well all put that on because most of you guys, that's all you do in the dark zone. But how do you get this? Well, all you have to do is log in, baby. Just log into the Division 2 during this time of February 2nd to the 17th and you will unlock the full RPD outfit. Rogue Police Department will be at your hands. Now for all the other items, of course, like any apparel event, you earn the keys, you open the caches, and you will unlock them. One thing we do know, there probably isn't gonna be a game mode that's alongside this, but there is a global event starting at the same exact time as this apparel event called Reanimated. Now if you guys haven't played this one, what Reanimated does is, let's just read the description, it says new enemy tech is causing hostiles to reanimate after death. The only way to stop the reanimation is to disconnect the brain response with headshots. Opt in and complete challenges to earn rewards. So that kind of gives you the whole zombie feel. You got to get headshots to kill the enemy. If you don't, they will reanimate and be chasing you down. So, I mean, it isn't a whole new event, but it's kind of cool. You know, we have a Resident Evil crossover, plus we have the new apparel event and then you throw in this global event that we had before, and it's not too bad. Now, one thing I was thinking about, what about the real event that was supposed to happen? What about the real code name event before it was an apparel event? What do they have in plan? Did they make this trailer right here just for a Resident Evil crossover? Or could this be a teaser to what is to come in year three? Could we finally get a survival for The Division 2? Was this a sneak peek of what is to come? Did they pull the resources that they were using for Kenley College to do, really make a survival mode for year three? Possible. There's just so many unanswered questions. I just feel like they could have done so much with this event that it would have been really, really fun. And I'm a big survival fan and I always felt like survival gave you that kind of like Resident Evil feel, you know, like everything's dark, cold, you're sick, you have enemies all around you just so much going on that they really could have done something with Resident Evil and survival and made a real really cool crossover game mode and we still could get it we still could get it I really get the feels with every time I watch this trailer the helicopter coming in the agents jumping out and then walking down streets cars are burning it looks like they're the only people there and then it looks like what a boss comes out his eyes are glowing red he's reanimated well could have been so much more but this is what we got and i'm still hopeful that maybe one day we will get survival in the division two let me know if you guys would even want survival in the division two would you guys be down if they made survival for the division two to play it would you even buy it as a dlc i i personally would i'm a big survival fan and i think a lot of people would actually enjoy it if they actually learned how to play it. 
So we're gonna wrap up the video here, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Now we know what this crossover vent is. Yes, it's just an apparel vent, but we do have a global vent going alongside it. So hand in hand, it's a, it's a total event. Not brand new because we've had that global event before, but this is what we got. So I'll see you guys in the next Division 2 video. But until then, nothing but skills out.